Hey, this is Dawn, and uh, sorry about the fuzzy sound in the background. I'm boiling some eggs. Uh, I found a recipe on a vintage Facebook page for, you know, disgusting recipes. Pretty much out of my era. <laughs> that bubbling should calm down in a second. Uh, this one's for fluffy mackerel pudding. And I was like, oh, I want to look at a YouTube video about that. And I did find a YouTube video of somebody eating it, but not making it. So I'm going to leave a link to that because she only had like three views. Um, I might only get three views, but anyway, I don't have mackerel. And it's not because I'm stuck up. It's because I am not trying to go out and spend money. Uh, this is for like, you know, you got mackerel from the Dollar Tree, something like that. And I do eat Dollar Tree mackerel. Actually, it's a safe food for me. But we do have pink salmon. So I got my fancy bubble bee pink salmon in a can, and this is more, so I'm actually not going to use this whole can. So, we're going to go through the ingredients for this, and you see that picture? Let me see if I can put the picture right there. Okay. Um, and I am looking at vintagerecipecards.com. I'll leave a link to that. It looks pretty. I got a thing with recipes that are like old and strange and stuff, and because I have such weird food allergies, I normally can't do it, but I can do this one. So, here's the other thing, is that um, I haven't really had a lot of money lately, so I haven't been to the grocery store as much as I like going. So, some of my ingredients are going to be a little pathetic, but this is my filthy kitchen. I'm going to do it alone. Okay. Two socks of celery. No, it's two socks of celery. Celery. <sighs> These are some pathetic looking celery stalks because they were at the bottom of the drawer. The crisper. We don't have a crisper anymore because the shelf shattered and it's just not a crisper anymore. Two stalks of celery, one medium green pepper. Um, I've got a wrinkly pepper. <laughs> Look, we are a stuck up stubborn society in this country sometimes when it comes to food. There's nothing wrong with this pepper, okay? You don't have to use a wrinkly pepper, but I'm gonna use a wrinkly pepper because I'm grateful for it. Okay, let's see. Uh, eight ounce drained canned mackerel flaked. I don't have that. I have 14.75 ounces of pink salmon. I can fish out eight ounces of this. <laughs> I didn't do that on purpose. Okay, get it. Okay, uh, one tablespoon of dehydrated onion flakes. I don't have that. And I can't eat that stuff anyways because they put all dried garlic and uh, onion. It uh, has this anti-caking stuff in it that I don't. they don't list it. Mm-mm. And it gives me migraine, so it's not a safe food for me. So when I'm making something that I'm gonna eat, I don't eat it. But I have this kind of dried out onion, so what if I... One tablespoon of dehydrated onion flakes. I'm gonna do that. <laughs> uh, two tablespoons of prepared mustard. This is an older recipe. I'm assuming that this is prepared. It's prepared. I don't know. Okay. Don't, 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 uh, 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 of a teaspoon of mace. I don't have mace. I know you can, uh, substitute it with nutmeg. I'm actually allergic to nutmeg. However, I'm gonna get a little brave, because I do have, um, punch puran, punch, I don't know how to say this. I, there's a, uh, Indian market by my whatever this living thing is I'm in and uh, I love that store and this was something that we had got for pickling stuff it's mixed spices I don't know what's in here it doesn't smell like it has a warm nutmeg kind of undertone but it it's just that warm of the season stuff that you can usually only get in the month of October in the United States I don't know why it's it apparently gets a lot for us to have anything pumpkin or nutmeg or anything unless it's October here so whatever um and then it says uh, a half a teaspoon of cayenne pepper. Of course, I've got cayenne pepper. Of course, I do. I totally did. I might not add that much because I'm going to see if my kid wants to try this too. Um, a dash of ground cardamom. I do have some cardamom pods. I don't feel like fooling with that. But I also have ground coriander. I don't know. I'm going to use this. And technically, if I use this, I shouldn't have to because I think all of that's in this. But... I'm going to use coriander instead just because 
it's not the same but it has a similar kind of thing anyways two medium eggs that i'm gonna beat them just slightly and then i've got some boiled eggs because that's the garnish okie dokie let me start cutting this stuff up Okie dokie. So the next thing is I put it in the oven at 350 preheated. Wait, I forgot to read it. Oh, for 35 to 40 minutes. So it's 11 o'clock right now. So that worked out. Um, <laughs> about 1135, probably 1140 since I didn't preheat. I'll come back and check. We're doing a taste test. Okay. <laughs> I don't hate it. I don't hate it either. I don't love it, but I don't hate it. Um, This is the kind of stuff that was really popular in the 70s. You know, and you'd make like little souffles. This could be made, totally made in the microwave. And it can be substituted with like canned chicken and just about anything. It was supposed to be made with mackerel, and I made it with salmon. That's that fishy, you know, kind of fishy one. But it would be good. This could be ground beef. This could be all kinds of stuff. Uh-uh. Ground beef. 
But, I mean, is it, like, if we were poor and starving, would you eat it? Or would you eat it at a party? Or would you... I'd eat this for breakfast on my own accord. It's actually probably a good breakfast food because it has a lot of protein. Thank you for test taste testing with me. So, out of, uh, um, out of five stars, you ate the whole thing. Out of five stars, what would you give it? Five being the best. Say, so like, three and... Mm -hmm. I agree. Mm -hmm. oh, you have no idea what just happened after that. Okay. Um, my kid streaked around and anyway. Anyway. Okay. So that was my 15 year old. Um, so here's one thing I will say is that the, res the recipe actually calls for things to be finely chopped up like the, the bell pepper and the celery like through the food processor, which obviously I didn't do. Um, but the fact that my teenager who is incredibly picky gave that a three and like a part of a fourth star you know what i mean and i agree um if somebody were to invite us over and we had this for dinner i wouldn't complain you know um then we've got three more uh <laughs> but i had transferred them out of this i was in the middle of transferring them out of this because they really didn't they didn't fluff up that big this is what they you know, the size of them. So they could have been made in these little cups that we have, or I don't know. Um, and these are kind of spicy. They're a little bit spicy. You had to just pay attention to what I use and how much I use it. Because I don't remember. I'm one of those people. I'm like a little of this and a little of that. This is on the floor. <laughs> Go saturate my, my fish pudding. Hmm. Okay, now I love it. When I was in high school, this was called my turtle dance. Give me thumbs up. Give me thumbs down. I don't blame you one bit, but be blessed. 